If you would like to know how to make amazing homemade burger buns, then continue to watch the video. And while you're at, don't forget to click that subscribe button. Hello and welcome back to Simon's Bacon Isolation Inspiration. Yes, we're a bacon show. Yes, we do simple stuff. And yes, we have jolly good fun while we're baking. Now today we are making burger rolls. Now this is simple pimple. So easy to make, but you know what? It's barbecue season. Let's make some nice buns. Bring it on. The ingredients you're gonna need to make these nice burger buns are as follows. In this bowl, I've got 375 grams of strong white bread flour. In this bowl, I have got 30 grams of butter. In this little butt, I have got 30 grams of caster sugar. If you ain't got caster, use granulated. Who cares? In this pot, I've got seven grams of salt. In this pot, I've got seven grams of yeast. It's the dry stuff, you know, the instant. Much easier. Got one little chicky egg. I have got some sesame seeds to go on top. And finally, in my little jug, I've got 250 ml of water. Let's crack on. First of all, get your butter and pop it gently into your fluid. Go in with your sugar, your salt on one side of the bowl, and your yeast on the other side. Now what you wanna do, just give that a gentle little stirring. Now the reason why we don't put the salt and the yeast together is because salt on yeast can kill it. It will stop it from getting a nice rise and that nice floury, doughy texture inside. Now that's all incorporated, it's time to go in with your water. So, get it in, but leave some behind, just in case. And what you wanna do is the mucky part. Get your whisking hands on. Get in there and pretend like you're a KitchenAid. <laughs> As you can see, we need a bit more water. We want to pick up all of this stuff. So go in with a splish, more, and bring it all together. Now that's what you're looking for. All the flour has been picked up and you've been left with a nice, semi-sticky dough ball. Now it's time to knead it. Now because this is a savory dough, we can use a little bit of oil. A good rule is sweet dough, use flour, Savory dough, use oil. You only want a splish. Splish onto your worktop. Now, you wanna get the dough out and pop it on top of the oil. Now, what you wanna do is punch it, bang it, slap it around 10 minutes, and I promise you, by the end, you'll have a nice soft dough ball. So cue the kneading montage. And there we have it, family lambs. There is my dough. <sighs> now if you're new to bread making, the temptation is to want to add more flour. This is quite sticky. And you'll be needing to go, in my neck, what is going on here? But trust me, get yourselves one of these. If you're making bread regularly, you should have one of these. It's a dough scraper. It's really handy for the beginning part when your dough is really sticky. You can just scrape it under, lift it up, and whop it straight down. Now the way I like to knead, there's many different techniques out there. People stretch it and roll it. What I do, is I put it in the palm, I push down, and then I squeeze it as I bring it back. So push down, squeeze, push down, squeeze, push down, squeeze. When I'm feeling fruity, I just get it and whop it straight on the counter like that. And if it had more flour, when it was really sticky, it would go really dry. Good rule is, the wetter the dough, the better the dough. 
It's as simple as that. But keep going, five minutes in, it will come together, and trust me, you'll end up with, with that. Now it's time for its first proof. Get a oil and just put just a splish in. What you want to do is get your hand in and just run it up the sides. This will stop the dough from sticking to the bowl. Now it's time to brush up on your basketball skills. So get your dough, take a few steps back. There's the bowl. And... Oh, 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 first go, baby! Let me know in the comments down below if you've made this, how far you can throw it before you get it in the bowl. And let me know how many times you missed it. Now what you want to do is cover this with a tea towel for an hour, put it in a warm place and come back and check on it. I have left my dough for an hour and a half. Why? Because I was too busy sat outside in the sun and I forgot all about it. And here it is, it's double in size, nice and puffy. Now also, what I've gone and done is I've done the most boring job and that is lightly greased with some butter a baking tray. It's pretty easy that one. Now what I'm gonna do is knock the air out of this and make it into some nice balls. There we go, there's my dough out. Now I'm gonna cut this up into roughly eight pieces and turn it into nice balls. So, oh. There we go, all nicely cut up. If some of them are a little bit too small or too big, you can cut a little bit off of one and add it to another. It doesn't really matter. Now I'm gonna show you how to make them into nice sized balls. Now how would you get that into that? Well it's quite simple really. What you do, pick up your dough, pop it in your hands and just smush it down and start to form it into a ball. And then when you've got it to like that sort of consistency, what you do is you pop it on your worktop, and get your hand round it like that and just roll it. And you'll feel it really, it should grip to the table. And then when you're finished, it should come out like that. And then with your hands in like a cup, just go around Pushing it down and under and twisting it. Nice little bullies. And there we go, there's my eight little bullies. What I've done is I've lightly flared the worktop. And what I'm gonna do is get a tea towel, just cover it over, leave it for 10 minutes. Just let a little bit of air puff back into it before we put it on our baking tray. My 10 minute time is up, and as you can see, they've buffed up a little bit. And all I'm going to do is gently take them off and pop them onto the tray. Now have a look at that, not too shabby. Now what we want to do is leave a little gap between each one and when these puff up they're joined together and that will give it its really nice burger bun shape. Now before we leave it for 45 minutes to give it a second proof, which will puff it up and make it touch together, it's time to give them a little pat and just congratulate them for being amazing. Well done. <laughs> now you want to cover them with a tea towel and just leave them for 45 minutes. Easy really. There we go, 45 minutes is up. Now for the grand reveal. Whoosh! Have a look at them bad boys. They're all touching, all looking pretty good. Now is the perfect time to get the oven on. Gas mark 7 or 220 degrees. Get it on. What are you thinking? Simon, how did you get your sesame seeds to stick to them bad boys? Well, you use your egg. It'll give this a nice little egg wash and that will make the sesame seeds stick to them. So, with your egg, give it a crack on the table into a cup. Now, with a fork, just beat your bejeebies out of it. Now, get your brush if you've got one, or if not, you can use your hands or whatever. And just brush it all over. Now the egg wash is done, it's time to go on with your sesame seeds. So what we want to do, it's in your jar. Just literally sprinkle them all over. And there we go, how good do them bad boys look? Now it's time to whop them straight in the oven, 10, 15 minutes until they're nice and risen and golden brown. So get them in the oven. The time has just gone off and I've got my boxing gloves on. Ish, ish, ish. Let's get him out of the oven. Have a look at them bad boys. Ooh, yeah. 
And there we have it. There are my burger buns. Now you want to leave these to cool down until they're cold, really. And then we can scoff them. All right, Bamalams, have a look at these bad boys. They have cooled down. I'll tell you what, this kitchen smells absolutely amazing. So let's get them apart. Look at that. Let's cut one open and have a gander inside. Have a look at that. Absolutely springy. Beautiful, beautiful buns. <laughs> now enough talk, let's get it in our mouths. Normally I'd have a nice vegetarian burger with this, but to try it just as a bun. That is proper nice. It's really fluffy. It just tastes amazing. It is a winner winner chicken dinner in my opinion. Thank you so much for taking the time out to watch my video. If you've enjoyed it and you want to subscribe to me, click my face right here. And while you're at it, click here to see all my other videos. Thank you very much. I'll tell you what, I'll give Warburton's a run for their money any day. Bring it on, Hovis. Come on.